Hello and welcome to the Coding Hub. If you clicked on this video, then you're probably wondering how can I use my tablet for more than just playing games? And you're probably a developer and you want to use your tablet to do some lightweight coding on the go and in places where you can't open up your laptop. And in this video, we'll have a look at some of the best ways you can do this. If you do enjoy this content, then I'd really appreciate it if you can like and subscribe. It will really help me out in any future videos. So let's get into it. So first of all, what we'll look at is code editors. There are a lot of different code editors on Apple's ecosystem, and it's, these are the ones I'll recommend. So first of all, Textatic code editor. It's great. It's really good for editing and viewing files on the go. You can connect to Git repositories, and you can also look at things in Google Drive or SSH into um, different uh, and you can even have some preview of HTML files which is uh, good. The only negative about Textatic Code Editor is that it is a code editor so it doesn't really let you compile code on the go um, is a negative. Uh, and one that I would recommend is obviously GitHub. If you have GitHub you can uh, your repositories in here you can really easily view the code and you can also talk to the github um, which um, can then ask it to review the file tell you what's in the file explain the file or maybe even start working on a potential future solution if you have something in mind you can then get the copilot to start writing some of that code for you uh, might be useful and uh, Two that I'll definitely recommend. You also have Replit, which is a new cool app that I'm checking out, which basically lets you create full web application using AI on your iPad. Uh, and it's pretty interesting. Um, you can deploy the project straight away. Um, interesting, it's, I don't think it's quite there yet, but if you're a vibe coder, then maybe this is something that might be interesting to you. Now, in terms of what I personally use, I use um, an app called Code, and it literally looks like Visual Studio Code on your tablet, and it's pretty awesome. It lets you um, have syntax highlighting in lots of different languages. It's got a little bit of um, as well, so you can um, write some um, code, and it's really good. And then you can run it. You can also um, search. You can get into your different repositories and I've made a, a video about this um, if I'm interested in exactly how I use this app then I'll be more than happy to do that please let me know in the comments below now another thing that I'd recommend using is um, playgrounds now swift playgrounds is an interesting one because it was designed for learning so it's got a section here which lets you learn how to code so you can go through their playgrounds on learning um, to code in Swift or how to code in general really. But there's also this interesting here, thing here where you can do a new playground and create an app for example. And you can basically create anything which is the interesting thing. These apps are on your iPad and they have simplified File Explorer but you can um, make these apps, um, can deploy these apps. So if you click on app settings here, you can set the app name. You can, you can even create a little um, for the app. These are very basic. You can create a custom one and import a file, which is pretty awesome. You can select your minimum deployment. You can specify capabilities. So if you're a veteran iOS developer, then you understand these. You need some of these like Face ID or you can access depending on what app you're making or the photo library. You can add in much all the different capabilities that you would expect in Xcode. And this is the crazy part. You can actually upload this to the App Store Connect and straight away distribute this application to the app store so you can just create an app on your ipad and distribute it on the the app store which is pretty crazy um, it's got a preview which is pretty awesome and you can actually run the app and see things like code errors 
uh, so here for example it's complaining about my app icon so let's just go back and put that in here and let's try running this and there we go it's running the app on your ipad and you can put breakpoints in you can reload it you can you know the app and restart it's a very cool little application it's lets you do lots of different things and you can if you're really determined to make a full application on here um, you wouldn't recommend it but it's great for learning and if you don't have another device it's a way of doing this sort of thing the other way of coding on an ipad is using vs code online so this is literally just vs code in the browser um, you can just open up some repositories here and even create new files and things like that so yeah pretty cool the other thing i would recommend is actually if you do use github or devops or devops then you can actually by pressing the full stop in your keyboard in a repository it actually opens up that repository directly in vs code in github uh, it's a little known trick and it's really useful and you can do this directly in your browser on the ipad which is pretty awesome and yeah what i would say about coding on an ipad i'd obviously recommend keyboard and uh, mouse if possible so to make the experience more enjoyable however at that point you might as well use your laptop so it's a bit of a give and take so i wouldn't say go full out with an actual mouse but maybe just use your trackpad on a keyboard if you do really want to do some coding on the go um personally haven't got a keyboard on my ipad i, I use it just for reading code um reviewing code i don't go as far as actually making code on my ipad i leave that for my laptop where i find it a lot easier and the other main thing about this is that compiling on an ipad is is quite difficult it can be done um it, it makes it difficult and you'll find issues in lots of different areas uh, for example if you're a web developer things like the console in the browser is not available to you so you can't um, things in your browser if you're a web developer or do some css check which can be quite annoying um, things like that are still just for your laptop unfortunately now if you enjoyed this video uh, i'd love it if you like and subscribe and look at some of my other videos on coding on the go and about different technologies. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.